I would say it was the worst six days in financial market history. Wall Street veterans call it the worst financial crisis of their lifetimes. A major American investment bank in trouble, running out of money, perhaps on the verge of going out of business. What happened to Bear Stearns and the investment banking sector over those days determined the livelihood and the lack of livelihood for millions of people in the months and years that came after that. Bear Stearns is definitely the most exposed to the mortgage situation. The subprime mortgage crisis first hit Bear Stearns last summer when two of its hedge funds imploded. And Bear Stearns wasn't exactly, you know, the biggest player on Wall Street. For months, there had been these storm clouds gathering. Financial market professionals and journalists and economists kept saying, oh, this problem with subprime mortgages, that's not going to affect the rest of the housing market and certainly won't affect the broader financial system. And then it did. The Federal Reserve and J.P. Morgan Chase orchestrating a dramatic rescue attempt, allowing Bear Stearns to borrow emergency money to stay alive and prevent a further crisis on Wall Street. So much of the scary part of covering that was the unknown. We're talking about financial instruments that didn't even exist 10 or 15 years earlier. And we're talking about a financial system that had never been more integrated. So we didn't know what the knock-on effects would be if one relatively small domino went down. You don't want to go on television and say, OK, the world's coming to an end. Get money and put it in your mattress because your credit card might not work and the banks might go out of business and you might not get paid. At the same time, you want people to know that this is serious and there is going to be pain and to prepare for it. Um, we've never seen a financial system freeze up like that. And it was scary. And there were very seasoned financial minds who were worried about not being able to have access to their money, not being able to pay their workers, having companies go under and factories close. That's what happens in a financial crisis, and that's what happened. The nation's central bank, the Federal Reserve, is backing a loan to prevent the collapse of investment bank Bear Stearns and to stabilize the financial market. By Friday, the Federal Reserve and J.P. Morgan had extended this massive credit line to, to help uh, Bear Stearns survive. So Monday, this share is worth $70. Uh, by Thursday, it's about $57. By Friday, it's $30. And then on Sunday night, J.P. Morgan steps in, buys the whole operation for $2 a share. For the staid Federal Reserve Bank, it's unprecedented. Slashing interest rates, pumping money into the financial system, even orchestrating the sale of an ailing investment bank. The weekend when all of the bank executives stayed up all night, when Tim Geithner at the New York Fed, Hank Paulson at Treasury, Ben Bernanke at the Federal Reserve, these people were working round the clock. People weren't eating, people weren't sleeping, and we were getting these reports of what was happening in Washington and on Wall Street to try to figure out what the hell was gonna to happen to Bear Stearns, how we're gonna be able to keep it from taking down the rest of the system. The Fed coming in with measures they have never done before, making up tools in a toolbox, not even questioning in some cases whether they had the authority to do it, but knowing they had to get in and do it and worry about that uh, after the fact. J.P. Morgan being encouraged, pushed by the government into trying to take Bear Stearns, and then the executives at J.P. Morgan worrying about, wait a minute, what kind of bombs are in this portfolio that we don't know about? We can't do this to our shareholders and our customers if Bear Stearns has something in there that we don't have time for the due diligence. We're talking about the kind of due diligence that would take months in acquiring another financial institution they were expected to do in hours. That weekend, the weekend getting Bear Stearns settled, dissolved, absorbed by J.P. Morgan, before the market opened on Monday morning, that was the scariest weekend of my professional career.